Ren, I just give a few straws of facts and figures around this technology. You are at the heart of it. You know, Imad Mushtaq and you uh, have created Stability Diffusion. Help us understand why is this being deemed such a disruptive technology? So thanks, Shoma. Maybe like uh, you already eloquent, most eloquently explain um, why this technology is getting <clears throat> very disrupted and potentially transforming the society. So I think uh, to directly answer your question, maybe my first answer will be there are previous version of the AI and the current version of AI, or the, maybe the next version of AI. So let me explain. The, the, one, the current, the new one, which we call the generative AI, is critically different from the previous version of the AI because back in the days when we were talking about AI, it's about studying hundreds of millions of data and then trying to get the answer, is this dog or not? Dog or not? So by studying hundreds of millions of data, your input was zero or one. <clears throat> As opposed to that, the generative AI is trying to understand the relationship between concept, idea, tangible object, visual effect, so that this, this generative AI model understand the connection between that, so that based on that understanding, this generative AI model can literally generate new visual artwork, meaning that by, it's the same, it's understanding hundreds of millions of data, but the output is billions of 